What's up everybody, my name is Timothy, welcome to my channel, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Now roughly about a month ago, everybody that I follow on socials or subscribe to on YouTube were making videos about gimbals, specifically one kind of gimbal. The Zion, the Zion, 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 whatever, the Weevil 2. And everyone was losing their minds, including someone I never thought would be into gimbals. Don't buy a gimbal. Everyone has such nice things to say about it. Obviously, I took that with a grain of salt. It, it made me want a gimbal, another one, give it another shot. <sighs> Even though I put that on my desk to remind me never to buy another gimbal. That's literally why it's on my desk. But I got one. But it is not the Weeble 2, it's the Weeble S. Because once the Weeble 2 dropped, the Weeble S went on sale like 47%, so obviously I got it. Uh, I'm not gonna spend another 600 or $700, however much the Weevil 2 is, because I don't have it. Now, I, I've seen a lot of people use the Weevil 2 S, or the Weevil S, why do I keep saying Weevil 2 S? Weevil S. I've seen a lot of people use this gimbal, um, and it looks like it holds a pretty good halo. And my last one, another one from Zion, Zion. The last one, the Crane 2, didn't hold a, like any of my lenses except for a 50 millimeter and a 10 to 17 EF. Ooh, okay. Looks like they have downgraded on packaging because that's styrofoam. It's nice that they have the branding on the front, but it's still styrofoam. When I bought the last one, it came with a box. So be it, I guess they just want to sell you the box separately to make that extra moolah. But whatever, you know, to each their own. Oh, this looks so cool. So here's the gimbal. Here's the charger. Here is the stand. You need to plug it in here. <laughs> Bro, the fuck? You should read the instructions. Now that I figured out where all the screws and the attachments go, it's time to test it. Now I bought this specifically to use with my Canon EOS R and a 16 to 35 with an attachment. But I'm gonna kind of try to push it a little bit and try to use the EOS R with the 24 to 105 RF. Now, once the attachment's on, this becomes significantly heavier. And I am, I'm like 90% sure it's not gonna hold it, but let's test. I'm gonna put it on. Here's a moment of truth. It's on. <laughs> oh my it God. is significantly quieter. Oh, what? The attachments on here. <laughs> oh, I just figured out that when it said access lock, it meant I had the access locked. So, my bad. First impressions, I'm, I'm excited. Like, I finally have a gimbal that isn't a waste of money and it can hold my heaviest camera setup. Like, I honestly didn't think it was going to hold this. I'm going to break it and have to send it back on the first day. I'll put up some B-roll and end the video super quick.